Hey guys, Steve here, a hobo with wood coming to you from the wood shop inside the woodshed here. Um, I'm not going to be creating any projects today. We're going to be finding out why my X tool isn't working, why I have no power. Uh, but before I do, I thought I, I would address a couple of things. There's been a couple of comments uh, in previous videos uh, that I thought I would just clear up for in, in general, uh, I am not drunk in any of my videos. <laughs> uh, disclaimer. Uh, in fact, I've not had a, a stroke. I've had two strokes at least. Uh, so when you see me maybe speaking a little erratic or if you notice anything funny, like I'm using a wrench in order to tighten the set screw on the laser or the X tool. You don't need to use a wrench for that. You don't. I, I do. I, I've got the strength of a six month old baby. So, or, and maybe not even that. So that's why you'll see me use a wrench on that uh, because I have tried to set that by hand. And unfortunately I have had several projects that have been ruined because my laser slips because I didn't have that thumb screw tight enough. And that's what it is. It's a thumb screw. You should be able to tighten it with your thumb. You don't need a wrench or shouldn't need a wrench unless you have physical uh, impairment like myself. So, uh, no, I'm not drunk. Uh, I've suffered a couple strokes, but I'm good. Uh, but what I have, what the issue I'm dealing with is my X tool. I started having some variations and deviations in the power output from my laser. My projects weren't coming out correctly or at all. Uh, in the X tool video or the, the, the YouTube video I did with my X tool on my first attempt to, to engrave rings, one of the rings came out semi okay and the other one had nothing on it. And at first I was like, well, maybe it was the material, but it shouldn't matter. At first I was thinking, well, it's not gold, it's not soft metal, it's not precious. Well, I, I engrave aluminum and cut through wood and all that. It shouldn't have mattered what kind of metal it was. There should have been some marking on that ring, uh, but I got nothing. So uh, during that video is when I think I suffered the catastrophic failure that I suffered. Uh, and I'm going to show you what to look for and how to determine if that's your problem. And another issue, if you have the... X tool air assist. Uh, I've discovered that the air assist can also cause a problem. Uh, and I'm going to check that today to see if that is compounding the issue that I have. So let's get started and see what's going on. So I'm holding the camera by hand today instead of using any of my tripod. So forgive the wiggly jigglies. Uh, so, uh, Something else I just decided to do is I've been getting a request for some custom one-off uh, pieces of, of furniture or you know storage chests, stuff like that. And instead of going to the trouble of mocking up something and wasting some material, I've decided that I'm going to start making out of corrugated paper the mock-ups and so I've gotten my corrugated cardboard It's actually my one of the, my prime boxes that brought material in got it set up in the laser tried to uh, cut a path with it and got no result from the laser at all nothing so I put this on a line uh, and we're going to put it at a relatively slow speed of just five millimeters a second and at 90 90 percent power and we're going to do one one pass i'm going to pay attention one pass and to hell it let's see where we're at in our frame bed there laser frame Okay, uh, enable. I don't want to enable rotary. Oh, I don't have the right COM port. There we go. 
Let's get it disconnected. Ready, okay. Now, let's try that again. Frame. Oh, I hit my, hit my hold down. I do not have the laser protecting shield on there right now because I was doing uh, the rings and you can't do any ring engraving with uh, with that guard on there. So let's try that frame again. All right, so now I'm at recapping. I'm at five millimeters a second and 90% power. I'm going to tell her to start. Fire the laser and start. Oh, no, see, that's cutting. I did this yesterday and it didn't work. All right, test, air assist off. Let's turn the air assist on. Let's turn the air assist on. And when I turn the air assist on, there is a distinct difference in that cut. You see that? Nice, deep, thick cuts, and boom. Since I turned that air assist on, uh, the cut may not have varied. It may just be the amount of burn the air assist doing its job. <clears throat> well, let's get this apart and see what we got. Well, I say we'll get it apart, but that's 90% power, and it did not cut through the box. It did make a mark on the box this time, but 90% power, that should have cut that completely through. And let's see if it didn't even make, it, it didn't even make a mark on the box on the back side. Okay. So I don't know if that variation in the cut was from a problem with the air assist not working correctly or that's actually the air assist working correctly. But we know we're not getting the correct power output or else 90% through corrugated at five millimeters a second would have cut that out like knife going through hot butter. So let me let me shut this off. Shut the power assist or the air assist off, the lasers off. Now see I can't get that loose. But I'm not torquing on this like I would a Lug, lug nut on the 65 Ford Falcon. Uh, I'm just barely even putting any torque on it, but I can't get any torque on it by hand. All right, so let's see if we can get the air assist off here with one hand. Okay, and take the nozzle off. Again, hand holding, trying to make sure I'm staying focused in frame, man, work. I'm not that talented. All right, so uh, where is trying to get there? There we go. So the nozzle is good and clean. All right, here here is my problem. That little halo and crack in my lens. I contacted Xtool. I went to their website and they had the chat option on there. And I tried to chat with them, but it came up with the 
option to email them instead. And so I did that, but I have not heard back from anyone from Xtool. I've had this for less than a month and already cracked my lens. Don't know how I did it. Don't know exactly when I did it, but I know I noticed the variation in power output when trying to engrave the rings. Now, when I mentioned the air assist a minute ago, well, I've got the X-Tool air assist and they send you everything you need to install it, including this little roll of tape. But I didn't see anything in the instructions as far as what this tape was for. But I found other YouTube videos that mentioned similar issues and not having any output or improper output from their laser once they installed the air assist and they had to go back and tape up this nozzle. Now my tape has all got pushed down. I had it taped up to the threaded area, but the tape has gotten all pushed down to uh, the base from taking my nozzle on and off. I'm going to retape that and put it back together. And we're going to try the same test again and see if we get cut through <coughs> this cardboard at uh, the same power settings. So I'm going to set the camera down for a minute, retake this, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so reinstalled the lens and taped up that barrel of the laser like so. And then slide the nozzle back on. And I'm going to need both hands, so I'm going to set that back down while I do that. Okay, got that put back together, got the air assist hooked up, and got the fo focus set on my laser. So we got everything reset to test that again. We'll send the laser to home. I'm going to move my project up. Check my, my frame. All right, so it overlaps, but it's not in the same area. We got <clears throat> same power settings, same passes. All I did there was, the only difference here is I have resealed that air assist. In fact, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna leave the air assist off for the first part of the cut and then turn the air assist on so we can do an accurate heads up comparison. So we go to laser and we go to start. I see some smoke, so she's, she's doing something. Now let's turn the air assist on. Okay, air off. I believe we got the same results. Let's take this loose. Same results. There's nothing on the back side. So my issue is 100% with that cracked laser. I thought I might have a <clears throat> combination of problems of 
the air assist not putting out, or the air assist interfering with the power and the cracked laser. But now I've checked that, double checked. The only thing that I've got an issue with now is that lens. I've got the lens ordered, and we'll do this same test again when the lens comes in. And uh, that should make all the difference in the world. I have yet to hear back from X Tool. Like I said, I reached out to them asking what did I do or not do that caused this. I've had it for less than a month, and I do not want to be replacing lenses every month. So I'll keep you informed as I learn what's going on. Hope you enjoy your day, and hope you're not having any problems with your X Tool. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, I appreciate any and all of the subscriptions and we'll continue to learn as we go.